Welcome sports bettors from around the world. This is your friend Joe, and this is Live Betting Daily, the Dodger edition, the winning edition, because uh, we won again yesterday on our official picks. We did two yesterday, so we did go officially uh, one and one. So uh, I don't know how you guys like that format. You guys want to do uh, just one official play, two or uh, three like the uh, day before. Like I said, uh, I do the Dodgers game uh, every day. I bet the game every day. So I have a pretty good angle on it. I, I like uh, a lot of other plays that I don't post on here, uh, which I'll probably uh, post on chat. But uh, that's the thing with the Dodgers. Uh, I try to focus on their games a lot since uh, there is my team. Uh, not to say I don't like the other teams, but, uh, you know, I'm a Dodger homer. What can I say? So let's start off by uh, saying, uh, I guess, uh, hello to all the Discord and chat that support us on a daily basis. Thank you for the guys that went on the uh, website yesterday and left those uh, nice comments uh, on sgdwins.com. And if you're interested in some premium picks, check it out. We did uh, really good yesterday. Uh, our Dodger picks did good. The video picks did good. So, again, just a shameless promotion. If you're not getting those premium picks and not following our video picks, if you're just doing that and staying away from any other things, you're, you have pretty good days every day. I mean, not saying that we don't have bad days, but like I said, yesterday was another good day. Uh, I think we went, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we went to 6-2 and two, uh, or 3, excuse me, 6-3 and three, uh, if you add up all the uh, video plays and the premium plays. So not bad. It's still a winning day. I'll take 6-3 uh, and three every day. So enough of that. We did the promotion. Let's, uh, let me make sure I get to uh, this shout-out first because... Uh, this individual, uh, <laughs> I kept forgetting about him, so sorry, King Mitty. Uh, shout out to you. I didn't forget you today. Shout out. Okay, so we got King Mitty. All right, now to the list of shout outs. So let's start out with uh, one one uh, individual that I, <laughs> I still laugh every time I see his name is Saggy Fat Neck. So Saggy Fat Neck, wonderful name. Thank you uh, for being on the Discord. Uh, and then now to our usual guys. We got Vegas 908. We got Bronx Hitters, Who That Nation, Big Mon, Dirty Bird, Appleseed, Baby J, Power Core, Philly Fang, Bangkok Jack, Futures Pastime 811, uh, Mr. Rich Mon, which is now USS Mariner. He changed his name, so still same guy. Nikki Nichols from uh, Las Vegas. By the way, Nikki, uh, hold on. I'll be in Vegas soon, so hold that uh, that beer for me. Okay. So let's get into uh, the play of the Discord because uh, that's been doing okay. We're now uh, we uh, dropped our play yesterday, so you know it's it's we're we're, we're kind of struggling here to be honest. So today I uh, I'm gonna uh, choose. Uh, I guess I'm going with this individual. He's been messaging me and he really likes his play. Uh, he's been pretty doing pretty good on his plays. So I said, hey, how you been doing? He said, hey, I've been going five and zero the last couple days. So we're gonna trust Uncle Dave on this one. Good old Uncle Dave from the Discord says he likes the Cardinals tonight. Okay, Cardinals minus 135 on his book on the money line. It's a Sunday night game, so you guys have plenty of time to uh, bet it. I myself uh, also like this play. I'm going to endorse this myself. Uh, I like it. Uh, it's a Sunday night game, so be careful of uh, shenanigans. But I do like the Cardinals minus 135. So uh, let's go with that as the uh, Discord play of the day. Now to the parlay of the day, which... Uh, also, you know, didn't hit yesterday, but uh, like I said, parlays are a little difficult. So I did ask uh, our friend here, Mighty Mouse 65. He sends me Cardinals money line. So I guess hey, we're looking good on the Cardinals. Seattle money line and the Seattle under nine. And if you guys remember from our uh, podcast this morning, myself and uh, Jared and, and Peyton, we really liked that Seattle under nine, uh, just because everyone and their mother was going on Kikuchi and the over. So uh, just to, like I said, recap, I usually like to stay off when I see 90% or maybe even 89, somewhere in the high 80s and 90s, I tend to go the other way. Now, I'm not saying it's always a success because, you know, sometimes, hey, this is the 100% right side, all the sharps, the public, you know, Uncle Joe, whoever's on there, that's great. Today, I feel a little different. The Mariners have been an over machine. Uh, and I, I do understand why uh, Mighty Mouse is going on this uh, Seattle under nine. So again, his uh, parlay of the day is Cardinals money line, Seattle money line, and S Seattle under nine. So cards, Seattle money line, and Seattle under nine. Okay, got rid of all that. We did the promotions. Let's do the pick now. 
Okay, so officially on the channel, and this is just the official, since we did two plays, we're going to count them yesterday, we went 11-4, we're now 11-4, excuse me. We lost our four and a half under on the first five, which I did feel was, uh, you know, a good play when I did it. I I just not, I did not expect the Dodgers to come out and make like three errors, you know, and they just played poorly. I think, like I said, it almost was on purpose, if you ask me. Jock Peterson dropping a ball at first base. Like, what the hell is about that? You know, uh, you know, throwing errors by Chris Taylor. You know, not grabbing a ball and try to turn a double play. Like, come on. just These guys are professionals. Come on. I know you can make mistakes, but that many? So, again, it's my Dodgers. I'm a little hard. I watch them every day. You know, I rewatch their games at night. So, I study you know, all the players. And, you know, I do agree that sometimes, again, you know, when you're playing a new position, you're going to, you know, mess up. So, we'll let it go. Uh, today, we're going to go back to a little... Uh, I guess, favorite of mine play. I mean, I really like the Dodgers to win today, but I'm not going to lay minus two ton with Kenta Baera. I just cannot do it. I won't lay it. If the Dodgers get down, I'll bet them live. But the official play is going to be one that we have done. This will be, a, like I said, the third time I think we've done it in our little run. We're going to go with the Dodgers minus 0.5, minus half a run the first five innings. And that's at minus 140 on my book. I see that like to 150. So, uh, like I said, shop around for that. But the reason I like this play, the Dodgers, this series, the Rockies have really shown me a lot. They've really have just come out right away and jump on whoever pitcher has been up there. That kid Lambert, you know, he got rocked a little bit. So the Dodgers, uh, the Dodgers come out strong. Now, again, the end of the game, I don't know. A lot of stuff could happen. Yesterday, you know, we won our play of the Rockies plus one and a half because that was the other play that we did, and we won that one because I kept telling people on the chat, hey, guys, the Dodgers are going to win, but they're only going to win my run line. I don't see they're going to blow these guys out. And it was. It was a tight game. Dodgers had many chances to win it. The Rockies had many chances to win it. You know, it went down to the wire. What happens? Mr. Alex Verdugo from Tucson, Arizona. Love Tucson. Hit that nice bomb. Dodgers win. So, again, today... Same thing, maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to try to take out the uh, bullpen and the shenanigans out of the equation. Like I said, I'm just sticking with the first five run line with the Dodgers as the official pick. A little lean on the plus one and a half. I mean, I'll, I can understand if you want to take Rockies plus one and a half. I'm not going to play it yet. I'm going to watch it. I know Kenta Maeda is not that uh, great lately. He's last his, uh, lost his last three starts as a 3.87 ERA. Uh, Antonio Senzatella, because that's the way you say it, Senzatella. He's from uh, Venezuela. So, you know, I got the accent. What can I say? But, yeah, I mean, he's he's been pretty pretty good de- lately. You know, like I said, I uh, I feel that uh, his record of 6-5 and five is a little misleading, you know, especially playing at Coors Field where <laughs> any pitcher gets rocked. That's why I was telling Jared, I go, man, imagine if uh, some of these pitchers that uh, give up a lot of runs would pitch at Coors Field on a regular basis. Their ERAs would probably be like at, you know, 15 and 20, you know. Uh, picture a Homer Bailey there or a... You know, these pitchers that just give up a lot of runs, you know. Uh, so, I don't know. What can I tell you? I don't uh, I don't think the Rockies have a shot of winning. I mean, I could be wrong. So, don't, it's like I said, but I'm not going on that. I don't care what happens at the end of the game. Well, I do. I want the Dodgers to win. What I'm caring about is I want the Dodgers to win on the first five innings. Run line minus a half. Book it. Bet it. Let's win. Let's take the channel up to... 12 and 4 if we win today. So thank you for watching again. Like I said, if you guys uh, get a little chance, go on the website. I really appreciate it. Leave me some comments down here below. Oh, the Discord. Again, we've already been you know, saying it's great. A lot of people have been jumping in there. If you guys are already in there, go in there. It's great. We have a good time capping games. A lot of uh, good parlays by Parley Juan. By the way, shout out Parley Juan. Uh, he's been pretty hot lately. Uh, Big Mon. I mean, there's a lot of good cappers in there. So give it a shot, guys. It's free. We'd love to have you in there. Have a good day. Happy Sunday. See you tomorrow.